Hello, Auxiliar here again. This is part two of my NASCAR Racing 4 video. After completing the upcoming championship season videos, I decided to see what kind of modifications or custom maps were available for the game. When researching this topic, I was directed to a site called Norel, which I will leave a link in the description of the video. Some of the maps are hit and miss, including one track from down the road from me, Golden Sands. Then there are funny moments like this one from Greensville Pickens Speedway, where I have fused to the wall with my back end of the car levitating. Starting with the track used in the footage of this video, which is Mesa Moraine. This track, which was closed in 2005 after residents who built houses in the area after the track was built, complained about the noise. Like, what did they expect when you build a house near a racetrack? But anyway, I really like this track, as the racing is fast and the course is short. I know this uh, track was on NASCAR Truck Series, which I might do a video on someday. One thing I wanted to point out was the ability to, for the cars to take off like a rocket ship if they're spinning near the finish line, as you can see in the videos here. Another track I wanted to point out was the old Monaco circuit from the 60s. While this track is hard for me to drive on Grand Prix Legends, it's even harder to drive on NASCAR Racing 4. Everything is tight for passing and not hitting the wall on any one lap is impossible. Just imagine NASCAR trying to race at this track today even in its current form. I will try and upload some Monaco and me some rain footage if I have time. Other tracks to check out are Elkhart Lake, which is a nice long track that fits nicely into NASCAR Racing 4. And really, in my opinion, NASCAR should be racing at that track with its top series today. Now on to Detroit, a very tight racetrack for Indy cars, even worse for NASCAR. This track is tight to pass on, and there's issues abound on every lap. IRP is a track I know was on NASCAR Racing 2 Grand National Expansion Pack, and this is fairly close to that track, 
but I feel that this track was not complete, as the car seemed to just want to run in single file the whole time. Milwaukee is another well-done track, and another track that was on NASCAR Racing 2 Grand National Expansion Pack. In my opinion, this is another track that NASCAR should still be racing at, but I believe, reading on the web, that it's just not financially possible. North Wilkesboro, I know, is a track that many people have been clamoring for to appear on the real NASCAR calendar for years, but we'll have to settle for the virtual version for now. Just another well done track with lots of contact on every lap. Laguna Seca is one of my favorite IndyCar road courses with its unique corkscrew corner, but as you can see in the video, a track that I still need to work on. I'd be curious how NASCAR would actually race on this course. That will conclude the video on NASCAR Racing 4 Custom Tracks. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit that like button. If you had a thought, drop a comment. Thank you for watching.